waking up in our cute little Airbnb. This is actually a Sonder property, which is kind of like short-term rentals, apartments, and I guess places that you can have that are fully furnished, really big space for three people. Um, there's a big bed in a bedroom, and then there's a sofa bed out here. I'm in this little alley kitchen and a huge living room out there, barely even filled up with stuff. Having our first full day here. So last night I got in super late. My spirit flight kept getting delayed. I Ubered straight from the airport with my backpack and all to the restaurant Pesh. It was amazing seafood. We got the seafood platter, we got a tartare, we got fish sticks, we got a gumbo soup and all kind of shared it. And it was amazing, really cool to have seafood on our first night here, definitely recommend that. And today on the list, we've got beignets and French Quarter exploring and maybe a voodoo museum. And we have a brunch reservation at the Court of Two Sisters at two. Dumont and some coffee. It was 7 out of 10. It was pretty busy. I was pretty impressed with how they were flipping everybody so quickly because we got in line. We only waited like 10 minutes. And now we are in Jackson Square. The sun is out. I can't believe it's literally February. So the dead of winter in Chicago and now it's like 80 degrees and really beautiful and sunny. It's very hot here. <laughs> We have about an hour just walk through the park. We can go through the French market, which we just kind of went through. The Kalibo Museum is also there. And we also went to check out the Voodoo Museum, since it's right there. We passed by Le Fitz, which is a famous bar, one of the first bar, like pub things, I think, around here. And there's like a Pride Street. So Mardi Gras was last weekend. So there's still some beads and dec decorations up, but it's pretty busy. spinach, some kind of lemon and pepper fish, garlic potatoes, a shrimp pasta, and then this is duck. You're gonna demonstrate and show me how to eat a crawfish? <laughs> I don't know, you gotta just watch and learn. <laughs>
need to get the Ale Vodka. Koi, what do you have to say about New Orleans transportation? It's too small, like, <laughs> make it a little bit bigger, increase the font size by like two points. Yes, like you really can't see it and it's and so confusing. came to the coolest little place next to a cemetery to get coffee. I got a chai. I don't know if it's cool or disrespectful that we're right here by a cemetery. Like, just enjoying our life, enjoying coffee on a Sunday next to dead people. But obviously tombs and cemeteries and spooky stuff are very integral to like New Orleans culture. Like I definitely would recommend doing like a tour here for like a cemetery or going to Marie Laveau's tomb or going to the Voodoo Museum just because that's kind of what they're known for. And I feel like going here in the fall time for Halloween would be really cool because obviously it's a spooky time of the year. mango salad. What do you think about it? I love it. I figured when in New Orleans, beignets all day. I feel like I would love to stay in the garden district next time if I come here with my boyfriend. It's a little bit more like bougie with the houses and everything. I would love to stay at this hotel in Minton because it's really pretty and they have like a cafe here, the Elizabeth Street Cafe and like another restaurant inside called San Lorenzo which looks really good. We are walking down Magazine Street in the Garden District and we're going down to kind of like a self-guided little walking tour where we're stopping at famous houses like the House of American Horror Story Coven Season and just Lafayette Cemetery and just some other like popular houses here. houses are just so beautiful. This is my little southern dream, my pink house, and my audio in front for 1.4 million dollars. I'm pretty sure this is the Coven House, my American Horror Story. Sarah. I know. I don't regret it. It's your birthday trip though, so it's okay. Happy birthday to me. Exactly.
thank God we're almost to our Airbnb. Almost. I definitely would not stay in the front quarter if you don't have like a guy with you or you're not in a big group. I have never felt so unsafe in a city before and I have that. Yeah, That's and funny. I've traveled a lot. If you watch my vlogs, you know everywhere. She's lived in downtown Baltimore. I've lived in downtown Baltimore. Downtown, downtown Baltimore. <laughs> and never have I felt so unsafe. See, I'm looking over my shoulder right now. I right. think after the night, I definitely would not want to get stuck here for another oh, night. That almost happened. I was this close. She lost her ID and her debit card, but luckily it was just from when we were up here just a little bit earlier. Yeah. Thank God we found it on the floor. Yeah. Great views. Yeah. Great food in New Orleans. Yeah, I guess great if you like a good party. There's parties all the time. Apparently, the Uber drivers have been, everybody's been pretty nice. What are your uh, reviews of New Orleans? So much culture. I mean, you got Spanish culture, black culture, French culture, these populations here. Yeah. Yeah, we went to a, a couple really good Vietnamese restaurants. Mm -hmm. This is what I packed in my backpack since I was flying Spirit. You're only allowed one little personal item unless you want to pay exuberant fees for extra baggage. So I wanted to show how I fit everything for the weekend for Nola in here. So opening up the big pocket, of course, I've got my snacks on top. I always want to travel with snacks. So I'm not spending money at the airport. I had freeze dried mangoes and I think I have like applesauce in here too. This is my toiletry bag. So I've got my makeup and then my toiletries as well. I try to keep it very light, travel size things, and just keep it very simple. And then I had a leather skirt because I thought I was gonna change into that, but I didn't have time after running from the airport. I've got my book right now. I'm obsessed with Colleen Hoover right now. Such good books. And then that was just in the pocket back here. This is my little snack, my other snack that I had. And then packing cubes are a definite must. I have two in here. And this is everything I had. My two packing cubes, lifesavers. I've got like undergarments, pajamas, and socks and underwear. And then like my clothes and this one for the weekend. This was a skirt I thought I was gonna change to. I had it ready and that was everything in here. And then the front pocket, I just have easily accessible things like wet wipes, deodorant, feminine products, perfume to touch up from being straight on the plane. And then I bought the water bottle at the airport. And I also, I always use the side of my backpack for shoes. So I just put a pair of like flats in there.